Hi, welcome to Elements in Focus. My name is Aaron Rayum, the Director of Financial Planning here at Financial Enhancement Group. As always, I've got Grant Sullivan with me, Manager of Advisor Operations. Grant and I are going to be spending time in our five critical elements uh, that we like to cover each and every week. We break these down just so you have a snack size tidbit piece of information. Hopefully it sparks some questions and interest for you to ask us questions. Today, we're gonna to focus on the investment playbook. Uh, the investment playbook is a piece of our five critical elements. And uh, what we it's probably the most focused uh, piece that we have because everybody wants to know what to do with their investments. And so this question, Grant, is how often should we reallocate our investment inside of our 401k or 403b, specifically retirement plans at work? Great question, Aaron. And we get this a lot as a team um, because a lot of our families, if you who are watching or like many of those we serve, your greatest asset, uh, the one you've built or put the most resources into is your retirement work plan. And so the question we get is, hey, how often do we reallocate? What should we be looking at? And really like to take a step back and refocus on what and refocus the lens you're looking at your money through. Remember, most academics and most advisors agree there's generally three phases of finance. The first one being accumulation. And this is our this is generally what these retirement plans were built for is to stuff dollars away, dollar cost average, and let them grow. So if you're in the accumulation stage of finance, really kind of pick the allocation that best fits your best, excuse me, best fits your risk tolerance and go from there. And then kind of let it sit and let your dollars compound. And really the first thing you want to do is save the appropriate amount of dollars for yourself and build a good tax diversification. Once we get to the accumulation phase of finance, which where protecting the nest egg matters more than what you're putting in, this is generally when we believe reallocating or readdressing your underlying holdings should be done on a yearly basis. And some would ask, well, Grant, goodness gracious, if we're trying to protect it, should we do it more like on a quarterly basis? Remember, 401k plans, 403b plans were not designed to be asset protection vehicles. They're designed to be asset accumulation vehicles. So sometimes the limited amount of investment options we have in our 401k, our 401ks does restrict us on doing some of the cool planning that we do outside of them. Does it make them bad vehicles? Absolutely not. But a reallocation once a year is powerful and can even do a lot of good because a year's time, really a lot of things can happen, as many of us know as investors. And so once we get in that distribution phase of finance, that's when things really change. And we're looking at distributing assets to do different types of defensive plays, et cetera. But for those of you that are looking to the great question, when should we reallocate? If you're getting close to retirement, you're in that preservation stage of finance, addressing it once a year is adequate. And again, making sure you're doing more appropriate things like tax planning will go a long, long way. So we love this question. Get it often. Remember, you don't want to day trade in your 401ks because of the lack of options, et cetera. But just make sure you're testing it once a year if you're in the preservation stage of finance. If you're in accumulation, you're just putting dollars away. Follow your risk tolerance. If you're like me, um, you know, an, an investor that has a very high aggressive risk tolerance, I just set the most aggressive things I can find and just let it go. So that's how I address that question. Remember, though, Aaron says this often, your situation is unique. So do not take this as generic advice. Just go do what I'm telling you to do. Please contact our team to get a, a, a better analysis for what your situation may hold. So, Aaron, how do they get a hold of us from here? Yeah, Grant, thank you for tying that uh, in. If you have questions, you want to get a hold of us here in the future. Uh, if you're new to FEG, uh, go ahead and scan that QR co code and you can set up your complimentary meeting today. Uh, or you can call us 800-928-4001. Uh, Brittany will be on the other end of the phone to be able to get a meeting scheduled with one of our advisors on our team. If you want more information, you can uh, find us out at yourlifeafterwork.com. Again, that's yourlifeafterwork.com. There's a lot of good content and information on there. So we're happy to help address and answer any questions that you have. Please get a hold of us and have a great day.